moment that, you know, every moment that the, the audience kind of laughed together, I, I, I was just, I just became happier and happier. Um, <laughs> because, I, because it meant that they were paying attention. <laughs> and that was very important because there are a lot of details in the, the world we, we created. And, um, you know, I wanted people to experience those details. So the film is what I'm now calling domestic sci-fi. We're That's creating good. a genre. Um, it's set in the near future, definitely based on aspects of the present that we wanted to push. Um, it's, about a s it's about an intimate relationship between a mother and a daughter and how that mother, how far that mother would go for that daughter to succeed in a pretty tough world. Um, it's kind of a long, quiet goodbye in, I I in my mind. Jen is such an incredibly gentle and patient and fierce director that a lot of what came out, whether it was you know on top of the line in the script or in between, was allowed to really come out. You know, if you've ever sat with someone who's incredibly patient, um, you find yourself saying things you wouldn't be able to say otherwise. So I would say that 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 quality in her, and she's also Asian American, um, brought out the qualities in our film. I drew a lot from my mom's determination to to survive with me alone in the United States as as practically an immigrant and um, she she was she was fiercely just determined to provide the best opportunities for me and that meant for her taking three jobs and sleeping while I was in school so I'd often come home from school and she'd be asleep and I'd let myself in and you know work and then she'd wake up and it would and then she'd go to work <laughs> and so um, we had a, a very special time and, um, and I think a lot of Gwen's character the, the main character in this story uh, she contains the same kind of determination that my mother had. I just love the idea of the world of the film expanding and so it gets to expand sort of emotionally and environmentally. We see more of the sort of world they're in. And then we just learn more about the characters. And then a really interesting thing is that there's a, a new character who's my boss, who's not referred to in the short. I just, I work for a corporation and there is a sense that I'm in a kind of big brother environment, but we don't really see who I'm working with. And so in the feature we get to see my boss, and it just lends a whole other <laughs> uh, dynamic to, to my scenes, and also tells us more about my relationship with Jacqueline. It's like, it's just, so expansion is the word I would use, and that was very exciting to me. My wife and I, we were big fans of the, the short, the Avantasia short, and as, my, we're as parents of uh, twin daughters, and they're seven years old, and, and we definitely related to trying to, just as parents, the, just the struggles and the stresses of just worrying about their futures, just in general. And, and it really, there are a lot of points made in that movie that really hit home to me and my wife, and we, we just responded very emotionally to it, and I, I just had to be a part of it. It was, it was something that I, I really, uh, I, w I was very flattered they would think of me in a dramatic role, considering you know um, all the hangovers have I done, you know, so so I was I was very grateful for that, and and, and it's not often that p people think of me in, in in that capacity, and I was really I was real I, I was really honored to for them to trust me, you know, with with, with this kind of role, and it's a it's a it's a very specific tone, and I I really just wanted to to, to blend in and to fit in with that world, and and uh, and and as a producer, I, it's really this is. Jennifer and, and Jacqueline's baby and, and they have amazing creative voices and they deserve to be heard and so I was, I'm just really the utility man just I'll do whatever you know what they need for me to do you know just get ice stuff like that <laughs> um, you know